Hello friends, my name is Professor Sharmila Bonerji and I teach the subject Business Communication at Durga Devi Saraf Institute of Management Studies. Well, what are we going to do today? Are you listening to me? Well, we are going to talk about what is listening all about. To better, better straighten up yourself and listen effectively. So what is listening? So if we can look into the slide, we say listening requires more intelligence than speaking. Now why so? We will discover this in our short journey today. Well, the definition to superimpose says that listening requires entering actively and imaginatively into the other fellow's situation and trying to understand a frame of reference which is different from your own. So if you remember my previous uh, topic on communication process, we had talked about frame of reference. Now this frame of reference actually plays a very important role in effective listening. So if I am listening to you, I first of all need to accept that you and me are in different frame of reference and if I have to listen to you effectively and understand you well, I need to accept that I have to understand a frame of reference which is completely different than mine. We say that the four forms of communication are listening, speaking, writing and reading. Out of all four, listening is supposed to be the most important form of communication and we say that every communication begins from listening effectively. Sometimes if you have noticed my friends that when you walk into a classroom where you are new and maybe it's your first day in your maybe college or office, you will see lot of unknown faces coming to you. So let me ask you, do you speak first? Do you listen first? Well, I would say you listen first. And why so? That's because sometimes listening is a subconscious activity. You sometimes, I would not say sometimes, you all the time are listening to yourself. So when you walk into an unknown environment, you first listen to yourself that whether these people are looking at me at their same level or whether I am looking good, can I speak well to them, whether this particular person I should approach first. So all these questions when you are posing to yourself, actually you are listening to yourself and then when you find yourself in a comfortable position to initiate a communication with a selective receiver, you open your mouth and start speaking. So I say that every communication begins from listening first. So if you listen effectively, you communicate effectively. Well, if you can see, there are certain myths about listening. Now what are those myths? We say that listening is same thing as hearing. Is it? Well, absolutely not. Listening is not same as hearing. Hearing is a physiological activity. Now, what do you mean by physiological activity? It's an activity of the ears, which is a physiological organ which God has given us to hear all sorts of sounds. And that is why we keep on hearing different sounds. But let me tell you, my friends, listening is absolutely different. Well, I'll explain in detail in my next slide. Coming on to the next myth, listening is the same thing as breathing. Well, once again, it is not correct. Well, breathing is an ongoing activity. And let me tell you, if you stop breathing, you will stop listening too. In fact, you will not be there to listen, to communicate. So we say that listening is completely different than breathing because you listen when you only want to, but you cannot breathe when you only want to. The last one, all listeners receive the same message. Again, something which is incorrect. 
all listeners do not receive the same message. Different listeners are in different frame of references. So, obviously, whenever some, like when I'm talking right now in front of you, many of you might be thinking what I'm wearing, what I'm supposed to eat for dinner or lunch or for breakfast. Well, I'm supposed to meet my girlfriend or get a scolding from my father. Now, all these thoughts are actually clouding your mind from listening to me effectively. But there will be some students who will say, oh, let me listen properly. Maybe after this, I have an exercise to follow, wherein if I can answer well, I will understand the topic well. So, there are different kinds of listeners who listen differently. And to answer in one common way, if you can see, is what are the facts about listening? Well, we say that listening is different from hearing. Listening is a conscious activity. So, it is not like breathing, which is an unconscious activity and it goes on happening without you even realizing. And lastly, good listeners develop a proactive interest in what the speaker is talking about. And when does that happen? Sometimes in student life, it happens when you have to give an exam and when you have to prove yourself. Well, there are three types of listening as you can see in the slide. Marginal listening, evaluative listening and active or empathic listening. Well, we will look into each of these listening uh, types in details. First, if you can see, it's marginal listening. Now, who are marginal listeners? Marginal listeners, first of all to define, they are poor listeners. They don't listen effectively. Their mind is always wandering with distractions. They actually are, while they are listening to something, they are actually paying attention to something else. Maybe in some corner of their mind, some other things are going on. So, they are unable to get into the frame of reference of the speaker. And sometimes they also find escape routes. By escape routes, I mean that they sometimes break their concentration by sometimes scribbling on the book or maybe sometimes shaking their head too much when they are actually not understanding anything. These are the signs of marginal listeners. Next, if you can see, we come to, sorry, we come to evaluative listening. Now, what do you mean by evaluative listening? Evaluative listening means passing hasty judgments without even understanding what the listener is trying to communicate. So basically what happens is before I even complete one sentence, you declare me, oh, this professor doesn't know perhaps what she's talking. Now you're being judgmental about the speaker. You're not even waiting him or her to finish her topic, right? So this particular person fails to enter into the speaker's frame of reference and understand his point of view which obviously sometimes will be different from the listener's point of view. So an effective listener should always remove all evaluations in his or her mind and listen to the person who is speaking effectively to understand what that person is trying to communicate. And of course, after the speaker has finished, you have all the right to put in your critical aspects. Next, if you can see, we will look into something called as active or empathic listening. Now, first of all, what do you mean by empathic? Empathic means getting into the shoes of the person who is speaking. So, when I am talking to you, you need to understand that what amount of, you know, maybe the preparations, what amount of knowledge I have before I am talking to you on this particular topic. So, you need to appreciate what the speaker is uh, speaking before you actually become critical or judgmental. So, empathic or active listeners, they are, they basically willing to listen completely before they give their critical understanding or critical feedback to the speaker. They separate facts from emotion. 
so they make sure that whatever the speaker is speaking it is some or the other way not connected to what emotional you know um, uh, situations they are undergoing inside their mind so maybe if you are listening to me right now when you know that you've done something wrong and you might get punished by your maybe uh, faculty or your parents it's better that you don't listen to me right now because if you connect my facts with your emotions i'm sure you will not be able to listen to me effectively and will not be able to provide a proper feedback lastly a good listener practices lot of mental paraphrasing by mental paraphrasing i mean listen effectively to the speaker inside your mind summarize the points what the speaker is speaking and then perhaps ask a question or critically analyze the speaker right okay next we get into as you can see different stages of listening now this holds true for any kind of thing which you read or listen or try to memorize if you look at the cycle out here we say before we start listening we first select the topic we want to listen to or read to so the first part is called selecting next we go on to interpreting what do you mean by interpreting by interpreting we mean understanding what that topic is trying to communicate to me so now when i'm talking to you about listening obviously you first of all have to make yourself understand that you are ready to listen to the topic if you don't have an interest to a topic let me tell you you will never ever be able to understand what i am trying to communicate to you because you will be involved into some other kind of things in your mind and that will become a big barrier between you and me in communicating effectively the next point we move on to as you can see is evaluating so once you select a topic next you interpret it and towards the next uh, towards the end you start evaluating it now evaluation means is that is this topic effective for me to learn should i how much importance should i give to this particular topic whether this topic uh, whether questions will be asked from these topics so all this thing will help you to listen effectively so if the topic is important if you evaluate it and give a get a result that no this topic is important obviously you will sit up and listen to whatever the lectures the professor is speaking after the evaluation you move on to the next topic which is responding responding is the time when you are providing your feedback so we you will respond effectively only if you have done the previous three three steps properly that is selecting interpreting and evaluating once you respond effectively and i say as maybe who is speaking i accept your response and i say that your answer is correct then you get a confidence to memorize that particular topic effectively let me tell you friends at this point whatever information you memorize by listening effectively you will never ever forget in your life and finally as you can see this cycle continues selecting interpreting evaluating responding and memorizing so till we meet again thank you so much for being with me today